friends. Today we're going to be making Alex's famous homemade granola bars. Very exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a big bowl, gigantic bowl, and that's where we're going to put all the ingredients. So we're going to start with some oats. I right here have got some quick oats, uh, Quaker, and I'm going to use about two cups. All right. I feel like I have almonds in my teeth. It's okay. I'm going to do this so next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding in all of our other dry ingredients and you can honestly just use whatever you have so we're gonna use some um, toasted coconut flakes this is unsweetened some chia seeds sliced almonds walnuts and some cashews and what you can do is you can take the nuts and put them in the blender or the food processor to get them in a little bit smaller chunks but what I like to do is I just like to use sliced almonds and then the walnuts and the cashews just kind of break them up with your hands so it's still kind of chunky, but they're not like whole nuts that you're putting in your mouth. Um, also some chia seeds. And then after that, we're gonna put in about a teaspoon of cinnamon and that gives it just this real nice flavor. And then just a pinch of salt. So we're gonna put all the dry ingredients together. Maybe a couple tablespoons of chia seeds. And this is all totally up to your preference. Chia seeds are great because they grab moisture and they get, you know how they get kind of like gooey? So they kind of help keep things together. So these sliced almonds, I'm gonna grab a handful, but I'm still going to kind of crush them with my hands so that some of them kind of get into pieces and some of them are left whole. So I'll take a couple handfuls. Beautiful. Same thing with the cashews. These walnuts are already in pieces, so these are great just kind of toss in. Like I said, you can use whatever nuts or any kind of dry ingredients that you want to use. You can throw some raisins in there. I don't know why anyone eats raisins, but okay. Okay, so now some cinnamon. Actually, I'm gonna, no, cinnamon is fine. Then we're gonna take a spoon and just kind of mix it together. And then once you stir it all around, you can kind of see really how much of everything you have. So if you're looking and you're like, ah, oh, looks like too many oats or maybe I want some more almonds, feel free to just on the fly throw in whatever you want. I kind of prefer with a little bit more oats and then everything else is just supplemental kind of crunch. And then you want to throw in a, like a pinch of salt. All right, now what we have to do is we have to put together the mixture, the wet ingredients, so that way the granola bars can actually bind together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take equal parts almond butter, honey, and coconut oil, and we're gonna, on the saucepan, we're gonna get the coconut oil, we're gonna melt it down, we're gonna put the honey and the almond butter in there, make it all warm, combine it all together. So, let's do it. All right, so I'm getting about a quarter cup of coconut oil in here, maybe, Maybe a little bit more, I don't know. Again, just kind of winging it. And what you can do too with your proportions, if you don't necessarily like as much coconut oil, you can add a little bit more honey, um, whatever you like. Okay, can get the honey out of the cupboard. And now the coconut oil is starting to melt down a little bit. We're gonna add the honey, get it nice and warm. I'm just gonna take off the cap at this point. Whoa. Kind of stirring the honey and the coconut oil all together. We're gonna add in some almond butter. So, here we go. I usually make my own, but we got this um, really creamy Marth, Mar, Maranatha, and it's, it's pretty good and creamy and it's not chunky at all. So it's a good texture for good old bars. So that should be enough. It's 
going to get kind of weird until the almond milk warms up. I mean, almond butter. And feel free to substitute with whatever um, nut butter you like. If you want cashew butter, peanut butter, hazelnut butter, whatever you like really works. Awesome. So now this is like all combined and together and it's not too hot. We can mix it in to the dry ingredients. Alrighty. Away we go. Oops. I'm a messy cook. I'm sorry. All right, and so last time, and a couple times that I've made these, they don't necessarily stick together very well after you, when you're ready to eat them, after they set and everything. So what I was reading is that adding dates could help. So what I did is I chopped up three dates and I made them nice and fine. So I'm gonna add those to them now, and hopefully that will help them just because they're so sticky and. Hopefully it'll help the bars stick together just a little bit better. <laughs> this doesn't work, I don't know what will. But even when they do fall apart, they are delicious. So don't let that scare you. Now, if your batter is still a little bit warm, which it might be, you might want to pop it into the freezer for just a couple minutes um, before you put in the chocolate chips because they will melt and then you won't have the chunks. You'll just have like chocolate melted throughout. So if you're going for that, you can add them now. If not, I'll throw it in the freezer for a few, let it cool down. Or if you're using cacao nibs, those don't really melt because they're a little bit more dense and crunchy. So you can just throw those in right now. So we're going to use dark chocolate chips. So I'm just going to put this in the freezer for a few just so it gets a little bit more cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, our mixture is cool enough now that we can put some chocolate chippies in there. Yes, chocolate chippies. So, we're just gonna put a little bit, maybe like a quarter of a cup or so in the mixture. And just kind of toss it all around, distribute them, nothing crazy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in to a pan so that way we can get it into the freezer to let them actually set for a while. So I've got right here a cookie sheet and I'm using a pan that's a little bit thinner. We've been using a cake pan, a square cake pan. Um, I made them a little bit too thick. So you can really make it in whatever you want. I'm going to do it on this just so I can get thinner bars that we can make into rectangles. So you can just dump out your mixture and then just press it down and evenly distribute it. So I'm probably going to try to make it not go the length of a whole pan just so we can get a consistent shape going on over here. But just press it down real good to make sure that you're gonna have a nice bar that's gonna hopefully stick together. If it's not, you know, dense enough, then you will also have issues with it not sticking together. So, just press it down, make sure it's even. And I'm gonna roll this side up here so that it kind of creates a little bit of a wall so it kind of holds up this corner here. Awesome, and this will give us really, really nice bars. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit more chocolate chips and just put them, sprinkle them on the top. Not a whole lot, just a few tablespoons maybe. Quarter of a cup, I don't know. Who's counting? I'm not. So just kind of sprinkle them on all over. And then press those down a little bit, but careful not to melt them with your hands. Just get them a little bit in there and then you're done. You want more add more distribute them make sure every bite you know 
It needs to have a little bit of chocolate in there. Right, Maria? Perfect. Whoops. Awesome. So now we're just going to throw it in the freezer for a couple hours, and then they'll be ready to take out and cut and enjoy. Right, so the granola bars have been sitting in the fridge for several hours. Um, you can do the freezer for about two or the fridge for about like three or four. So we set them in the fridge, went to go play golf, and we're back. So I just took them out of the pan, and it's just a big like block like this. So now we're just going to cut them into whatever size granola bars you want, really. So, Reed, do you want big granola bars or little granola bars? Medium. Okay. Yeah, I think the dates really helped here. And boom, there you go. These actually, the dates really helped hold these together. Re, you saw how they were. Um, like they wouldn't, if you would hold it, it would kind of fall apart. Take a bite of them. So. Better? Oh my gosh, so good.